I'm told that you left the mainstream media uh, for similar reasons as far as censorship controlling a tight narrative and you get in yeah. trouble if you step outside. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that is true. Um, a couple of years ago during the COVID pandemic, I had an opportunity or at least the network I was working for had an opportunity to interview Anthony Fauci. And because I was a giant critic of the lockdowns, the mandates and even the so-called science around the vaccines and the vaccines supposedly at that time not stopping the spread, they wouldn't let me interview Anthony Fauci. So that was the end of my tenure with with uh, mainstream media. Now I'm independent. I wanted to get your take on Margaret Brennan, the moderator, being married to an anti-Trump operative. CBS selects her to be the moderator out of all the CBS on-air talents, someone who's that closely tied by being married to someone who has, has worked full-time and donated to an operation of taking Trump down. And now she's supposed to fairly um, interview Trump's running mate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Lincoln Project is one of the fiercest organizations against Donald Trump. So it... Uh, <laughs> I mean, of course, CBS then chooses the wife of somebody who is tied to the Lincoln Project, but involved with the Lincoln Project. I mean, this is just, these are, a, again, a group of, you know, we look at Kellyanne Conway, who was married to George Conway, who's the founder of the Lincoln Project. This is a group of people that just have Trump derangement syndrome. Uh, they absolutely should not have selected her, but it's it's par for the court. I mean, this is what we expect, right? I mean, they they choose people that are I, I, or maybe they just don't have anybody else. I mean, there is a real possibility that in mainstream media, especially with the way the news has been and, and how liberal leaning and biased it's been, that they literally don't have anyone else to select from. Everybody's anti-Trump or everybody's connected or married to somebody who's totally anti-Trump. I mean, that's a real possibility to also consider.